What is up guys, your boy Run here today with another deck tech and analysis plus the gameplay and today's deck is the baby Necrozma deck with Malamar. So this is a deck I've tested for quite a bit and like with every Malamar deck they are really good, they are on the verge of like being kind of an you know, upper tier 2 to the lower tier 2 and they are really fun decks to play so I decided you know what we have everyone has at least some cards from the pre-release and maybe some you have Necrozma so let's just do a deck around it right maybe some of you just purchased a theme deck and let's do a baby Necrozma deck so what do you need in this deck and what is the main idea so main idea is to use special laser for 160 but also we're gonna use a Dratina as an additional attacker so let's just go card by card and let's check this baby out so we've got two Jiratris from the team up those are the most expensive cards card cars cards in uh, this deck of course uh, still I wish it's such a great card to use that we can't kind of live without it in this deck then we have one Giratina, of course only one, one is all you need right here because the main focus is on Necrozma, Giratina is like a secondary uh, attacker, you might say it's a tag team with Necrozma, alright. Then we have nice set of 4 Inkes and 3 Malamars, if you want you can do 4-4, four, four. I like to play 4-3. Then we have one Mew with Bench Barrier for the spread decks like Weezing and others and also we have 4 Necrozma Babies with Barrier Attack and Special Laser. So let's move to the trainer cards, we have 2 Acrobikes, 4 Custom Catchers, of course Acrobikes just to get uh, the discarding uh, going on. Custom catchers to switch our opponent's Pokemon for mysterious treasures, not only discarding stuff for Malamar, but also searching for that Necrozma or Giratina. Then we have po three Pokemon communication, two switches, two Shrines of Punishment and two Viridian Forests for additional damage and discarding. Then we have four, a nice playset of Cynthia's, two Erika's Hospitalities and only two Lilies. Why only two Lilies and two Erika's? Um, Lily is for me, it's good like early uh, game and Erika is more of a middle to late game kind of card. Thus I have a nice, nice, nice uh, middle. Like we're somewhere in the middle with both, right? We have two and two, so that is perfect. Here, Pokemon Fan Club, of course, to get uh, Jirachis, Giratinas, and Necrozmas. You can play Elm Selector if you want to, but Elm only will give you in case, right? So not as good as uh, we have here. Two escape boards that will go perfectly on Jirachis. Four spell tags and ten energy, which three of them is recycle. Why do we have recycle energy? We need that recycle energy for the special laser attacks to hit this 160 damage. So that's the whole deck. The whole deck is down there below uh, in the description. You can copy and paste it uh, for your PTCGO and play it. Or bear with me and let's play the game. Let's play a few games right over here. I just have to find the deck because there's a ton of decks that we have, as you can say. And not always it's easy to find it, but we've got it. So you want to go first or you want to go second? Actually, I prefer to go first due to getting the Malamars. And establishing Malamars is quite important, right? Even though it sometimes break. Some people even say that Malamar decks break normally, but I like to pl I like playing against that breaking, right? Just look at this hand. This is such an absurdly bad hand, but we have two attacks here, right? We can use a nice barrier attack, and that's what I'm kind of gonna do. Plus, we still have a draw to do. Maybe my opponent is Mulligan. Of course, he is not. He played his active, and he is starting with uh, Mega Sableye and Tyranitar. So instantly, I know I'm playing against a Dark Box. Not a pretty side, not a pretty game to play, especially when you have a hand like that. Of course, every single deck breaks sometimes, every single deck has bad days and good days. For me, the whole day, the whole stream and the whole day was just bad. I've lost many games and it's not always easy, right? It's not always easy. We got a Dark Knight Umbreon over here as, of, uh, as an active. Let's see what is going to happen. The Dene. A lot of discard, discarded energy, Lieutenant Sarge, Weevil GX, but that's a Dark Box deck. They want it. Alright, another Umbreon Tarkrai goes to the deck, and I think it's gonna go with Sneasel exactly for the Weevil GX. 
because for him establishing Weevil GX is quite crucial and don't worry this week we're gonna have a nice nice dark box deck uh, on the channel just before the worlds because I finally gathered all the pieces today Bow. all right come on what you're gonna have Poi Pole so Negadal will be bringing back the energy and I have to find something and we found NK And I have to go. I have to go with Inkay. Spell tag. And I don't want to, but I'm going to draw this one card. And I've got a Malamar, but I don't have anything in a discard pile. So... <laughs> let's play Pokemon Communication. And let's see what else we have in the deck. Alright, so I've got Jirachi, I've got Giratina if I want to. But let's establish another NK. Let's establish those NKs on uh, on the board. Of course, you know, you can play Bills and uh, Bills Tactics in this deck if you want. I said Bills Analysis, but that's Bills Tactics. Um, but I do prefer playing without it. Again, this uh, can happen sometimes. It just happens, right? You know. You can have the best deck in the world, but sometimes you, you're just gonna break. That's uh, the way it is, and you can't really you know do anything about it. Uh, which is, you know, it is a bummer to 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 certain degree, definitely. Um, but what can you do, right? What can you do sometimes? Let's go. Come on. Dark Moon GX. Uh, your opponent can't play any trainer cards from their hand during their next turn. We're not playing trainer cards, but also we're not playing a lot, so only a barrier attack. So definitely a nice, nice, nice GX attack to slow me down. Um, definitely no, a good option here. Weevil GX will see some play, and the engine has started. Of course, you know, he is break. I don't want to say breaking because he has a good hand. That's 150. That's definitely a knockout uh, on my... On my dark right, Umbreon. Okay, yep, that is definitely a knockout. He doesn't need a Cynthia to do it, but again, you're playing till the very end. And looking at my hand, it was just a bad start. It was just a really, really, really bad start. But there we go, damage decrease. We're still alive. We're still alive. Oh, you freaking kidding me? You are joking. Okay, like this hand, no, 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 no. I mean, I know when to concede, and that is the moment I have to concede. When you draw a third recycle, recycle energy, and you only play three, that is something bad. And maybe my shuffling was not good enough in this in this game. So let's play a game number two here. I think we're gonna play three games actually. In that, uh, or doing that video. As long as there is no storm, because I got an alert on my phone that there is going to be a huge storm today and it is not advised to go outside. And look at that. That is, oh my goodness, that's a completely, completely a different start over here. Acrobat, treasures. Mm, Jirachi, I think only, like, having one Jirachi is fine here. I don't want to play the second one. Of course, if you want, you can play two Jirachis and just swap them. Oh, we're, play, we're playing against Tina Chomp, right? Dratina and Garchomp. Tina Chomp uh, deck. Alright, what can we do here? Uh, so, linear attack, 40 damage to one of your Pokemon. So, he does not care about our feelings a lot. And of course, that is a Malamar deck with the Tina Chomp. Dratina, there we go. Yep. Like, Dr like, Malamar deck can't live without Dratina at this point. And... Is this annoying to me? No, it is not. Um, Alright, let's play the second Jirachi. Stellar Wish. You know what? Viridian Forest. Because I will be able to discard Dratina with the Viridian Forest. Or later with Mysterious Treasure. So, Acrobike. That's Malamar. Of course, I can do the switch, but I want to wait. Mysterious treasure, uh, no, Cynthia. So I know I'm gonna, uh, I will be playing Cynthia. 
So you know what? That means switch. That also means discarding mysterious treasure. And there's no Giratina left in the deck, so Necrozma. Alright. Again, if I'm gonna play Viridian Forest, I'm gonna fix him as well. So I don't wanna do it. I, I want to avoid that Viridian Forest right now. There we go. And Mew. So Mew is going to disable the linear attack on the bench, which is quite good. And I like that idea. So if he wants to attack Mew, there's a spell tag, Stellar Witch, for Erika Hospitality for the next turn. And let's play, uh, let's play Custom Catcher for the draw of one. That is a Recycle Energy that we're playing on a Necrozma passing the turn. And the fact that I don't didn't want to play uh, Viridian Forest was that not only he can discard stuff, but also you know he's gonna get the energy. And I didn't want to you know do like two in one uh, type of scenario. A Dragon Talent, all right. So I just you know I just tried to play around something. I didn't thought he's gonna have Erika Hospitality, but there is there is Erika Hospitality on the board. That is going to be an interesting game. Not gonna lie. Pokemon communication, alright. He's shuffling his Jirachi. So you can see it's kind of similar game uh, on both sides. And for me, I want to get to discarding. I need to discard some energy. I want to draw some more with my own Eric Hospitality. And. Of course, Mew helps me tremendously. So the only you no, know, the only damage you can put is on Jirachi that is active right now. And don't forget, you can still use Jirachi's ability even though the Jirachi is asleep. You can't retreat it with for the cost, but you still can use use the ability. All right, we woke up. Eric Hospitality. That's draw four. We've got a Melamar. That's really good. Mysterious treasure for another Malamar, and I'm discarding that energy. Because, again, let's not forget it. We have to get those Malamars, right? Like, establishing Malamars. That is the priority when you're playing a Malamar deck. A skateboard. That's quite good, because a skateboard will allow me to retreat, even though I'm sleeping and play another Jirachi. And a skateboard is just made for that, for that uh, Jirachi in my deck. And I still haven't played any supporter, uh, so we might be able to do it now from the Stellar Wish Jirachi, and it is! We've got a Lily. Um, yeah, I prefer this one. So we've got Lily. Draw of three. That is going to be draw of three only. Or not, no, because I played Supporter, right? Yeah, I played Eric Hospitality. That is my mistake. My bad. But still, we've got the Supporter for the next turn. We have Pokemon Communication. Um, we have options. Also, we have the Giratina. A Giratina, Necrozma from Unified Might. With the Spell Tag on it. And Mew that prevents some damage. Mm, has in damage counters on it. This attack does 80 more damage. That's a huge attack. Calamitous Slash, an amazing attack that I really have to be careful. We don't have Giratina in the deck, so I have to find Giratina somewhere. But we all know this is not going to be easy, this is not going to be pretty side, because finding Giratina right now, she's in the prize cards. Giratina is in the prize cards, and oh boy, that might be quite interesting. So now he's considering the whole this scenario. What what, what he's going to do? What not? I'll get attached to it. Uh, discard one of your opponent's uh, Pokemon. Of course, that is the effect of the attack, um, which should go through because this prevents only damage, not the effect. So he's going definitely Necrozma. Yep, targeting Necrozma. Ah, <sighs> so he slowed me down. 
Like, wow, he really slowed me down. Um, I have to think now. I really do have to think. Definitely Cynthia, like, there's no other option. Cynthia. Okay, so we got our Necrozma back. Malamar. So fortunately now we kind of went back to the state when where we were before he discarded my uh, my Necrozma and of course the recycled energy stayed on the board so that's really that's not bad that's honestly not bad. Mm. I was thinking if I should get the Shrine of Punishment or Cynthia, and I think Cynthia was the better option in the long run. Ooh, nice! Secret Viridian Forest, by the way. That is gorgeous. I mean, I love that Viridian Forest. It is gorgeous. And that's actually a really stressful game. Alright, so he's playing his own Dratina, and of course uh, the damage from the Dratina is gonna come through probably he's gonna try to knock out the Mew, like that is uh, going to be his, his, his mm, thing. But again, he also struggles to get the energy into this card pile, but in the long run, well, he has a better attacker right now. A skateboard on Jirache. Custom, no, so custom catchers. <sighs> Alright, that was, whew, that was close, that was close with custom catcher. I feel like even too close, to be quite honest with you. And climb to slash. That is a knockout for 160. Okay. Jirachi goes front. Another Necrozma. A Lily. Spell tag. Viridian Forest. I'm gonna discard my own Viridian Forest. Let's grab the energy. Stellar Wish. Shrine of Punishment, fantastic. So there's gonna go Shrine. Retreat. And a special laser. So this means next turn I can actually... I can actually... Uh, charge up my Necrozma. And 40 damage counters. Um, I don't know where to put them, to be quite honest with you and fair. I have to think now. I really do have to think. And normally I would go Malamar. But there's no way I can actually snipe that Malamar on that, on that bench. So I think like the best way might be, hmm. I don't think there's the one best way, to be honest. Uh, I think Jirachi, due to like, you know, two spell tags, should knock out Jirachi, but he is going, alright, so he is going mm, on, uh, on for the Necrozma, actually. I still have Custom Catcher, so if I would draw another Custom Catcher, that would mean a nice knockout on the Jiratina, but first, alright, so he's putting 40 damage here, so I'm putting all my damage on the Tina Chomp on the bench. Jirachi front. So Jirachi front, recycle energy on Necrozma. Discarding energy as well right now to get the energy. So, let's charge this bad boy up. Three energies in a discard pile. Let's go. Psychic Recharge. And I'm thinking about playing Pokemon Fan Club, to be quite honest, just to get another Necrozma. So we have this flow of attackers. Stellar Wish. And there's a Custom Catcher. Oh my! Okay, so we have a knockout on Tina Chomp. We will have a nice knockout on a Tina Chomp. There we go. So Tina Chomp, get over here. 
So due to knockout of Tina Trump, I can actually try to get uh, my 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 own Giratina on board. Let's go. Let's hope we're gonna draw it. That's a skateboard. Oh, and there's Giratina. Fantastic. Okay, we've got that Giratina. Now we, I have to discard her. But I can do it with Viridian Forest, of course. So definitely Jirachi retreat playing his own Giratina attacking. And next turn I'm kinda of, uh, I'm kind of doing the same kind of motion. I'm playing my own Jirachi. Giratina from the discard pile. And literally we're gonna start hitting each other. And I think in the scenario of like 1-1, one, one, I that's gonna be interesting, to be honest. That is really gonna be interesting, cause that Giratina can knock out, can knock out um, Jirachi. So going prize by prize, you know, prize for a prize, that is not gonna be pretty sad. But. What I can do is, I can play Mew, and I can attack and I can put counters on that Jirachi. So Star Wish would uh, knock out Jirachi, but that is still like one for one, right? So. This is not looking pretty. Let's shadow impact. She's going down to three prize cards. So I mean if I would play Mew and I would put three damage counters on Jirachi. Is that a bad idea? Hmm. You see, choices. Or. Okay, let's go distortion door. No, it's gonna be me, Q. Okay, cause again, okay. I attack here. That's a knockout. I'm going down to two. He's going down to two as well. Well, that is stressful, I'm not gonna lie, that is super stressful turn. I mean, if I would find a spell tag with Jirachi. Ah, that's not a spell tag. But I still have Cynthia that I can play. Come on. Wait, so I have to think. Jirachi here, so we go down both down to two. Three. No, he goes down to one prize card. Uh alright, right, let's just attack with Giratina. I mean let's see what we have in the deck. That's also crucial here. Is there a spell tag? Yes, it is. So, oh boy. 
All right, Shadow Impact. And here it doesn't matter, I can put on Giratina because uh, that's also one hit and knockout because he is attacking for one uh, 30. Okay, so he. Alright, so he took a different route, but uh, he's gonna bring back. Yeah, so he's avoiding my spell tag with the Giratina right now. How many spell tags? He played. That's one. Only one. So there are still four spell tags somewhere. Three, sorry, three spell tags somewhere. Where I played two already. So he brings back Dratina, that's a knockout on Mew. So he also has two prize cards. He attacks my Dratina, he goes down to one prize card. I'm gonna miss 10 damage probably to knock out whatever. Yep, I'm gonna miss 10 damage, but that is a fantastic game. It's hit after hit. Oh boy. If only I would be able to knock out that Jirachi. Maybe not knocking out the Tina Chomp was a mistake. Maybe I should have knocked out Jirachi here. But now it's too late. It's just too late to think about it. We have to play. We have to make it happen. Come on. You can do it, Raven. You can do it. Such a close game. 11 cards left in the deck. If only that spell tag worked. If only. But I can't think about it right now. It's just. We just have to push. Because he knows he also. Might need a spell tag. To, well, to some degree. I would say. Or maybe even not. Because that's a knockout here. He goes down to one prize card. card. I'm knocking out his Dratina. He brings back his Giratina and that's a game. Oh, that is it. I think that is literally it. So, no count. So, I mean, he's thinking the same way as I am thinking, right? Like, he is building in his head all, you know, the possible outcomes, you know, he's thinking about everything. There's so many outcomes that uh, can happen. But I know in the long run, if it's just gonna attack, he wins. Because I'm gonna be 10 damage short of knocking out any of those guys. And I just know that. Stellar Wish. No spell tag. One prize left. Yep, that's all she wrote. That's all she wrote in this game. That's it. But a really nice game, down to the wire, right? Down to those little, little, little mistakes that we've all made. A special laser. He brings back his Duratina and... He's knocking it out. He's knocking out 
my Jirache. GG, GG, GG. What a good game, what a good game. So, guys, that is baby Necrozma deck for you. Uh, is it competitive? Yes, it is. It's a fantastic deck. Well, definitely, you know, sometimes you make made mistakes, like, you know, here the Jirache, uh, not hitting his Jirache was a mistake. But it is a fantastic deck. I highly, highly recommend you checking it out. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more Pokemon trading card game uh, stuff, like decks, uh, news, pack openings, you know, uh, IRL openings, whatever it is in TCG, we are doing it on this channel. Also, uh, I'm on my road to competitive VGC on this channel as well with the series of Road to Sword and Shield. So do you also want to check that one out as well? And down there below we have a 5% discount on any code you would purchase on Professor O. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care. Goodbye. Bam. And good night. Boing.